One last problem. A convex lens has a focal length of 0.8 meters. A light ray travels from the object to the lens parallel to the principal axis. Which line best represents the path of the ray after it leaves the lens? Well, if the light ray is coming in parallel, which one's going to show its shape after it leaves the, ren the lens? Well, that's got to be number three there. Coming in parallel, you get refracted through the far focal point. How far from the lens is the image formed? Well, to do that, we're going to use our lens equation, 1 over f equals 1 over do plus 1 over di. That's going to imply then that 1 over di equals 1 over f minus 1 over do, which our image distance is 1 over 0 0.08 minus 1 over 0 0.1. Therefore, 1 over di is going to be equal to about 2.5, which gives us an image distance of 1 over 2.5, or 0 0.4 meters. Which one of these best explains the path of the light through the lens? Diffraction, dispersion, reflection, or refraction? Hmm. Well, the path of the light through the lens, that's governed by refraction, the bending of light. That's why lenses work. So our best answer there is C, refraction. Hopefully that gets you started with refraction and lenses. Next up, we'll start talking about modern and nuclear physics. Thanks so much for your time, everyone, and make it a great day.